Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill. This week's lesson, we are going to be looking at this curious little instrument, the mandolin banjo. Banjo mandolin, banjolin, mandeljo, I just made that last one up, but you get the idea. This thing goes by a lot of different names. The idea is the mandolin neck, kind of in banjo neck proportions, on a banjo head. So it's got a nice metal rim, metal and wood rim with all kinds of hardware the skin, head, uh, everything you expect out of a banjo, just with a mandolin neck uh, slapped on there. It's a very cool sound, maybe a little bit of an acquired taste, but I'm gonna sort of take you through the sound of this thing, how it compares to regular mandolins that you might be more used to, and what little I know about the history of them. If you're looking for more regular style mandolin lessons, I've got tons over at mandolessons.com and here on my YouTube channel. I put out new lessons every single week and they're always free. But if you like what I do, there are a couple ways to support me. There's some links in the description. I've got some merch. I've got a Patreon page where you get access to lessons early and patron only live streams. And I've got a kind of more traditional tip jar. Not required by any means, but greatly appreciated if that's what you're into. While there are companies making new mandolin banjos, it's much more common to find old ones these days. The heyday of the uh, mandolin banjos, probably the teens through the early 30s. Um, this is a Vega mandolin uh, banjo, which Vega was an instrument company that made banjos and mandolins and guitars for quite a while. Uh, this one's probably from the 20s, tuned just like a mandolin, G-D-A-E. Um, so it's got the neck of a mandolin, like I said earlier, but it's got the body of a banjo. So lots of metal hardware, wooden rim, uh, metal tone ring. It's even got my little uh, sock dampener. It's clean, don't worry, in the back there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting sound. It's a little more strident than your average mandolin and maybe is a little bit of an acquired taste. But uh, I really love the sound, especially for sort of more raggy music and blues and jazz um, and some kind of raggy old time tunes. Um, so the tune that I played at the beginning there was East Tennessee Blues, a great tune in the key of C. Um, it also works great for kind of more bluesy stuff. That wasn't anything in particular, just a little noodling around on kind of a, a blues progression in the key of C for anyone interested. Um, and yeah, so a lot of times, just as a word of warning for anyone who's maybe interested in uh, picking one of these up, it's a very cool sound. I really enjoy it. Uh, with the old ones, the necks didn't hold up all that well to all that tension of eight strings over the years. So uh, they're often not wildly expensive instruments to find, a couple hundred dollars. And the one thing you want to be sure of is if you can get to it and play it yourself, that's going to be the best because you can check out the action and sort of the neck angle, make sure it's all in good working condition because it could require a couple hundred dollars more work if it needs to have a dowel set, which is the equivalent of a neck set in the banjo world. Um, so it definitely um, has all of the same sort of things you want to look for in a mandolin and maybe a few more because there's adjustments like the head could be replaced and the bridge and things like that. But definitely if you like this sound, uh, see if you can find a mandolin banjo in your neck of the woods that you can uh, try out because they're very interesting instruments. I like them a lot. I'll play a little bit more. That's about all I have for today. Just wanted to give people a sound sample and really, uh, yeah, you know, show off this little mandolin because I know they're out there and I get questions about them all the time. So I'll leave you with a little uh, comparison between the mandolin banjo and a regular mandolin. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.